Hey, what's going on, guys? IO Studios here for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create some cool caustics using Cinema 4D and Octane Render. So, um, yeah, let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to add in a plane. We're going to scale it up uh, quite a bit, just like that. And uh, we're going to grab a circle, coordinates. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Oh, there we go. Uh, put it right about. There, I guess. And then um, we're going to go to our object. We're going to scale the circle down quite a bit because I don't want it to take up um, too much space. Uh, we'll scale to, I say, uh, 60 maybe. Uh, we're going to copy it, paste it, move it up, and we'll scale this one up to 75. <coughs> About, and then we'll move it up. There you go, just like a nice normal class. And we're going to grab a loft and we're going to put the circle, uh, we're gonna both the circles, into the loft. Click on the loft, uh, loop, enable that. Uh, I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, that's good. Now um, we're gonna do the lighting, I think, first. So objects, uh, HDR environment. Um, we're gonna. Oh no, not HDR environment. Actually, sorry, delete that. Objects, texture environment. <coughs> we're gonna go ahead and just set a completely black texture environment. Okay, we're gonna do that. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, <coughs> we'll make the actual material. We'll do the lighting after I've made the material. That's fine. Okay, and we're gonna actually enable the octane. Actually, no, 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 no. Uh, we're gonna add some lighting first. <laughs> uh, objects, um, octane area light. I think that we'll just do like that. That's pretty much good. We rotate it a bit, and we're gonna have to enable path tracing. <clears throat> That's not really helping. Okay, uh, that part of the um, thing is a bit dark. Um, the back part is a bit dark, but oh well. Okay, um, or the, the area behind the light is a bit dark, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, uh, we're going to make this new material. We're going to, uh, specular, um, roughness, we're going to add a bit of roughness. I don't know, yeah, a bit of roughness. Um, reflections, we're going to color those very subtly, uh, I think we'll make a red glass. Yeah, sure. I'm going to color them very subtly red. And um, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to our uh, dispersion. And I like adding a bit of dispersion. Not much, just a very small amount. Um, and index, this is the point we're going to set to index refraction of glass. Okay. Uh, notifications always pop up when I'm trying to record a video. Not otherwise, though. <laughs> um, the index we're going to set to 1.517. There we go. And um, transmission. Uh, this is the main part where we're going to actually color the glass. We're going to make it a nice you know, red color. Just like that. Alright, that's pretty good. And um, fake shadows. Enable those. And I think we're pretty much done here. Um, yeah, there isn't much more to tweak in the material. Maybe the roughness if you want to. But, um, okay, we're going to apply this to here. Now, already we're seeing some um, some nice caustics here. Oops, I did not mean to scale it up. I meant to only move it up. There we go. And yeah, as you guys can see here, we're already seeing some pretty nice caustics. Let's see, how does this look? Oh, I like that. See, oh, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to zoom in here and um, we're going to look here. So this may be a bit bright. This light may be a bit bright. Um, maybe if we darken it a bit. Don't want to darken it too much. I think just like that. It's good. And the floor itself, um, we're going to make a new material for the floor. Two material. Apply that to the floor. And we'll make something. We'll color it. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe make it a bit of a darker shade. Just like that. That's pretty good. Uh, not too much for the floor. Don't need to do too much. Um, let's see here. How does this look? If I just look at it like more like that, <clears throat> I'm trying to get a good angle on it, so yeah, just like that. Um, some pretty nice caustics, maybe film index. Uh, should I turn that up? Does that even make a difference? I don't think the film index really makes a difference too much. We'll set it back to what it was 1.45. I'm, I'm this is pretty, I'm pretty happy with this, I guess. <clears throat> um, nice caustics here, and that was the point of the video. Um, few more things we can actually change in our settings here. <coughs> caustic blur, that's how much to blur them. This is um, supposedly like as hard uh, as the caustics can go, but then um, 
increase the caustic blur and it will it'll blur them a lot um, so yeah that looks pretty nice and um, yeah I think that's pretty much all we need to do um, not much more here uh, maybe setting this priority high and um, that's pretty much that bloom can I add a bit of bloom I can add a bit of bloom not too much but just a bit of bloom and um, ray angle or ray amount I mean and uh, glare blur there we go that's um pretty much that I'm pretty happy with this what we'll do actually we'll click on our loft and we'll add a few more subdivisions so we'll go to our uh, graduating lines we'll add a few more subdivisions on the U and on the V yeah there we go just like that looks pretty nice does the subdivisions actually affect the uh, not too much okay yeah 25 and 25 and that's um that's pretty much that okay so um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, of course, leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, leave a comment if you have any requests for tutorials. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!